Hello there and welcome to Quick Tips. Today's focus is on a tough challenge, how to say no to a customer. We'd love to always be able to say yes, but unfortunately from time to time we need to put the interests of our business first and say no. How do we do that nicely without damaging the relationship? My belief is a great technique is to talk about what we can or will do rather than focusing on we can't or won't. So how does that work? I believe you initially need to address the thing that they've asked for that you can't do. Quickly though, having explained that you can't do it and perhaps why you're unable to comply, move on to what you can or will do. A couple of examples. Let's assume we're looking at selling through a reseller. That reseller has some stock that they've had for a while. They've said, we can't sell it, can we have a credit? Unfortunately, we're not able to do that. However, what I could do is help you put together a flyer or a marketing campaign or identify some customers to help see if we can move that stock for you. The second example might be about a customer who asks for free delivery. Look, we'd love to be able to provide that. Unfortunately, it's not built into our cost structure. However, what we could do is see if we can coordinate a couple of deliveries or orders together for you so that the impact of that delivery charge is minimised and reduced. Finally, look at a professional services example. Somebody might ask for a particular accountant or a particular lawyer or a particular consultant. Look, we'd love to be able to provide that person, however they're unavailable or heavily committed at the moment. What we are able to do is allocate Billy Buster to the job for you, but it would be overseen by that person that you were after. There we go, some examples of how to say no to a customer using the technique of focusing most heavily on what we can or will do rather than what we can't or won't.